Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we have another pen from Bina, Bina Lincoln. And before we start, as always, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. So uh, Bina Lincoln, so I'll talk about this pen, the parts, my likes and dislikes, and then we will have a small writing sample. So let's start. So this pen is another, you know, classic pen from Bina Pens. This is a quite old pen, right? It's in, this model is quite old actually. And you can see this pen is made of plastic. The body is plastic and then the cap is made of steel with a gold color clip. So this is a standard. So you will get gold. Um, they, they only make, I think, this single uh, model with steel caps and golden nibs, uh, golden cap uh, clip. Sorry, and you can see Bina written on the clip, and you can see Lincoln little written on the cap band, and they spell Lincoln as L-I-N-C-O-L-N. I think uh, spelling. Lincoln as L-I-N-C-O-N would have been some legal legal issues so that's why they are spelling this Lincoln with a extra L so you can see the phenyl is very nice it contains a red band and they have a red band around the you know <coughs> uh, uh, where the piston starts you know piston knob starts there they have this you know gray uh, red band so this pen as i said is a piston filler and it has a ebonite feed that is the best thing in this, in this pen the ebonite feed and they have the in-house nibs quite good nibs they write smooth and this pen has a nice ink window here to see where how much ink is in the, in the pen so being you know, a uh, ebonite feed and, and having a piston filler mechanism makes this pen a very, you know, um, good to have pen or uh, I would say every, you know, fountain pen lover likes to have a pen with ebonite feeds and piston filler mechanisms. So what I don't like about this pen is, you know, uh, it, it, this pen is a little bit light and, and, and thin. So this grip section is very thin for me actually. I prefer a bit girthier pens, but uh, this pen is a little bit thin for me and, and, and too in light for me. So I have to post this pen, but after posting this pen becomes quite good, quite balanced pen because this uh, cap is quite heavy because of you know being metal. otherwise there is no problem with this pen so you can you know easily um, clean the pen and it writes very well and if i compare this pen with other pens maybe i can compare this with my parker frontier you can see it's almost the size of parker frontier it's a pocket pen so it fits in your pocket very well and um, you know it, it looks good in your pocket also so let's have a small writing sample. You can see this pen is very wet. There is all ink all, all around in the feed and then on the you know nib as well. So the pen for the day is Bina Lincoln with an L. Ink is Pilot Black. Let's write something. Uh, this pen writes well. Uh, it's smooth, but this nib has a sweet spot actually. So if I write in, in a particular angle, at a particular angle, this nib is very smooth. But when that angle changes, then it becomes a little bit, you know, feedbacky. Otherwise, there is no problem with this nib. 
you can see it's quite wet it's a medium nib and you can have some line variation here and now the su surprising fact the price of this pen is just you know ranges between 250 to 300 rupees Indian rupees this is the biggest you know surprise here you get um, avonite feed a piston filler and a very good writer in rupees you know 300 this pose uh, this pen poses a serious challenge to the Parker pens but I the only drawback of these pens is the marketing strategy of these pens is not you know very good you don't find these pens in every stationery store like you do with the Parkers otherwise if you see this pen anywhere, just buy it and you, you won't regret it. And as always, thanks for watching the video. Hope this helps. Please like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye bye.